Hey guys, what's going on? Try to thrive here with um, a quick Planet Zoo news slash speculation video. I haven't done one of these in a little while. It's basically the quiet time for Planet Zoo. All games go through this, but they're just times in between content where things just kind of simmer down. I mean, you know, I'm seeing less content being posted up by people, and it's just, you know, it's. I'm seeing also. I'm also seeing smaller reactions, you know, and then just it's it's a quiet time. But now that we are officially in March, and um. This month, we all kind of um, expect some new content for the game, because it's basically that time. It's been almost three months since the Arctic Pack has come out, and I do remember them stating once that they would plan to do content, new content for the game about every three months, and it will be at least three months on um, March 17th. That's Yeah, that'd be exactly three months since the Arctic Pack, and so right now, I guess we're just waiting and keeping our fingers crossed. Um, now, today, this morning, they uh, posted their... Um, live stream schedules for all their games. They do this every month, and uh, I, I looked through it, and unfortunately, I didn't really find anything new, exciting-wise, for Planet Zoo or Jurassic Evolution, which are like the only two games of theirs that I follow. And um, usually, you could tell if there's something new, whether it be a game or a major, not game, sorry, an update or a major DLC or of any kind. Um, you could tell that those would be on the way if it said developer. Uh, st uh, yeah, developer stream. But I didn't see that. Now, I kind of gave up hope. I was like, darn it, maybe this month we're not getting anything. And maybe they're just pushing it for another, for a later month, probably April or something. But then, um, someone, that you, someone named Sedan Wolf, you guys probably know who he is, a very good Planet Zoo YouTuber, he's one of my favorites. He on Twitter managed to point out something I didn't uh, catch on the actual live stream, uh, not live stream, on the uh, stream schedule. Um, and uh, so here's exactly what it reads. It says, Hello everyone, thank you for joining our stream throughout February. We've enjoyed seeing so many people in the chat and want to give a special thank you to all the people who have watched and supported our 24-hour live stream. We're looking forward to another month of fun-filled streams with some surprises where necessary. This post will be updated with more information that we aren't ready to reveal just yet. We're also looking forward to seeing feedback from our Tuesday streams now. We have changed the format. So... Um, there's a few things to point out about this particular part of the uh, list that is exciting. Now, there are a couple things that they said in all of this that actually catch my attention. The first thing is, we're looking forward to another month of fun-filled streams with some surprises. Now, that doesn't give us a whole lot, but the word surprises can be um, exciting, I guess. And uh, I think it's hinting at something, but then if we keep going... And uh, reading the next sentence says, Where necessary, this post will be updated with more information that we just aren't ready to reveal just yet. Um, and so, with that, I can pretty much safely say that they're, they're, high, they're keeping something a secret. Something that will get us all excited. Now, it could be anything. It could be for a different game that, than we're thinking of. It could be, it could be anything, really. Um... But I would not be surprised if they are hinting at a new DLC for maybe multiple of the games, but I'm hopefully keeping my fingers crossed for Planet Zoo the most, obviously. Uh, it's just that time, as I said. It's that time to get more content, and uh, I really believe this is them hinting at it. Maybe they just, maybe they have the new thing ready, or almost ready, and they're just not so sure about when to release it yet. And so they're currently just, they don't know when to tease it by saying developer stream. And they just, because they're not so sure, it's because they're not so sure where to, um, when to release it. You know, they're just, they haven't decided when the developer stream should be. And, and eventually when they do make that decision, they should hopefully update it. And uh, I would definitely place bets that we'd be getting some brand new content for this game by the end of the month. Um, have almost no doubt. I say almost because very well indeed this could be nothing, or, and also it could very well indeed be for another game, you know. It's about that time for Jurassic World Evolution to get also a new DLC, and uh, quite frankly, I'd love to see a new DLC for them as well, or for that game as well. Um, I, I do believe that Jurassic World Evolution, this is like Jurassic World Evolution's last year, I reckon. I, I don't believe they're done just yet. I, I reckon when the um, supposed Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out, which, again, maybe needs to be taken with a grain of salt, it most likely will. Um, when it comes out, I think they're done with Jurassic World Evolution. They may be done with it right now, but I, I, I do believe one more year of content should be should be given to this uh, amazing game. And then, obviously, we got years to come of content for Planet Zoo. And as far as Planet Ghoster goes, 
Um, I, with the the only real exciting thing I believe for it is just the fact that it's coming to console this summer, um, and I believe they're basically done with it after that. You know, and quite frankly, I respect that. It's one of their veteran games. You know, it's, yeah, one of their one of their veteran games. One of the oldest. Um, and then Elite Dangerous. I, I don't really know anything about Elite Dangerous. Uh, um, looks like they're still doing live streams with it. Makes sense. And uh, maybe they're maybe they're going to continue updating it. But uh, I, I don't know anything about that, quite frankly. But anyway, though. So yeah, supposed DLC or in general any new content this month. For all we know, it could just be an update, a big update. I, I think it would be like a spring update with a um, some kind of DLC that doesn't exactly fit spring like the arctic pack did of the winter update but is still necessary like a critically endangered pack or, or um <clears throat> a Austra australia pack rain uh south america or sorry amazon pack you know just the big ones that keep it people keep asking for but you got to really think about how they've structured dlcs in the past think about Jurassic evolution they've had a quite a variety of dlcs they've had the packs they've had um well now with the um, 1993 DLC, that was a pretty big one, and quite different from the rest in my opinion. And there's also like the medium ones, where I'd say that classifies as like the Secrets of Dr. Henry Wu, and, and Claire's Sanctuary, and even the supposed, eventually, like Ian Malcolm DLC or something like that, but um, things like that, it just, it, um, yeah, they just, they just have a variety of sizes of DLC, and when it comes down to like Planet Coaster, um, the thing that I saw they did it, that they did consistently with it is like, it's basically the same structure every time. No, like, no new story-wise, but it's really just a variety of new building materials and new ride attractions, and that's, and, and that just varied in size. That's kind of how I saw their DLCs as, until towards the end, when they did things like the Ghostbuster DLC, remember that? That was a while ago, that's like right when I got into Planet, um, right when I got into Jurassic Evolution, no, not, sorry, not Jurassic Evolution, Planet Coaster, and then eventually did Planet Zoo not too long after that, but still, though, um, they eventually, only at the last moment, kind of, going a different way with the Planet Coaster DLCs, but as far as Planet Zoo goes, I kind of see it as like a mix between Jurassic Evolution and Planet and Planet Coaster. You know, it's got to have that planet themed structure to it like Planet Coaster does. We're going to get um, like a whole bunch of new building materials based off the particular theme this is, and there's also going to be, of course, new animals. That's kind of how I see it as like every time. I, I would say it leans more towards the Planet Coaster side since it's kind of the same universe, but in terms of like Jurassic World Evolution, the thing to remember is the, the the selling point of Jurassic World Evolution's DLCs were the dinosaurs, and I can imagine the same thing is going to um, accommodate for Planet Zoo with the animals. They're the main selling point, and so I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of do like a mix mash of Planet Coaster and Planet, uh, sorry, Jurassic World Evolution DLCs. We're going to get eventual like small Planet Zoo DLCs with just a couple of animals based off a theme, maybe uh, some new enrichment items for them and some new scenery pieces to depict some of those animals things like that so it's gonna be like a like, like I said like a mix mash between the two I think they would work out nice so for example we get the spring update supposedly this this month and then with that we get like a small say critically endangered pack with three or four critically endangered animals with some new enrichment items uh, maybe a couple new pieces of decorations depicting them in the game things like that that's how I kind of see it as and eventually we'll get bigger DLCs in the summertime for say like an Amazonian pack or, or something like that that is my best guess but I will say it most likely is going to lean towards the planet coaster route and go kind of like a simple format every single time with a slight size change each time and uh, that, who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We've only experienced one type of DLC for Planet, Planet Zoo, and as soon as we experience the next one, because obviously there is just years to come of this game, um, we'll get a better idea of what to expect in the overall future for Planet Zoo. Uh, very excited overall. Guys, please let me know what you think. Um, do you think we'll get a new DLC this month? I, I already said it, but I personally believe we will. It's just that time. I know Frontier pretty well, seeing after seeing them for a couple of years. They they know what they're doing. They've certainly overall improved in their game skill, um, their game development skills, and also it seems like their numbers have gotten kind of big. And so, just I, I I really do expect some new content for Planet Zoo soon. Please let please let me know if you agree. Also, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more some for some more content. Thank you all so much for watching the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.